Hello my friends, John Gorham from Torque News here. Today we're going to talk about a very interesting way that you can power your home's heating system using the Jeep Wrangler 4XE plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. Jeep offers a very interesting product with this and it's available on most trims. What you do is you plug it into the electric car charging port and then there's a box at the end, it's called the power box. And the power box has four 115 volt power outlets. Now, what you can do is you can run things that run on 115 with this using the electric vehicle's battery. And the electric vehicle's battery is quite large, 17 kilowatts in this vehicle. That's enough to power most of the things in your home for quite a long time during a power outage such as might occur during an ice storm. What I've got hooked up here is an 1800 watt space heater. Uh, it may not look very large, but a space heater is one of the most robust um, energy draws you can have and still be at 115 power. So I'll go ahead and turn that on. And as you can see, it's now operating. So now how does this power your house, you might ask? Of course, your, your house is not heated by little space heaters. Well, my home here in Massachusetts, where it's always snowy and icy from basically October until May, uh, gets quite a lot of ice storms and what we do in New England is generally homes are powered excuse me homes are heated by either natural gas furnaces or by oil burning furnaces my older home here has an oil burning furnace and interestingly enough it's a 115 volt system not 230 so I had an electrician install this device this is a power input box and it has a line off auto so that I can power up my home's heating system using an external source of power, like a generator or like the 4XE's power box. So all I would need to do is connect an extension cord from the power box to the input of the energy, and I could heat my home, my 3,000 square foot home in Massachusetts, using just the power from the power box and, of course, the oil burning system. Now, I'm not one of these Luddites that doesn't have an alternative system. My home also has heat pumps that can heat the house throughout every, uh, every part of the living space at a very efficient rate. Um, however, it's great in New England to have oil or gas heat because when the temperatures are really low, it's a lot more comfortable and a lot more practical to use either oil or gas to supplement your electric heating system. So uh, I just thought I'd share this with people. It's super simple to operate. All you do is plug and play. You plug in the power cord to the, to the vehicle, and then you use your extension cord to go from your power box to your power input box. Now that power input box cost me about $120 on Amazon, and my electrician wired it up for about $150 labor cost. Uh, you all listed, um, this, is, this is all good stuff. Now the power box, you might be thinking, how much power can that thing really put out? Interestingly enough, it can put out 3.6 kilowatts. That's enough to run not only one heating system in my home, if I had two, I could still run it. Or I could use those other three plugs to run my refrigerator, my internet modem, maybe some lights. So this power box is a really, really great solution for those who live in a place like I do, where it's snowy and icy most of the winter time, and where short-term power outages are common. This is a solution that's a lot less ex expensive than having a, a full home generator backup system. And honestly, full home generator backup systems come with a lot of compromises. You have to maintain the generator, you have to keep fresh fuel on hand, and most of the power outages are less than three days. And with the amount of power inside this Jeep, you could run your home heating system no problem for three days. Remember, home heating systems don't run continuously. They're intermittent. They run for about 15 minutes, and they take a break for an hour and a half or so. And really, you only need to maintain enough heat in the house to just make it through the storm. So I just thought I'd highlight something that's really, really cool about the Jeep Wrangler 4XE. And um, I'll supplement this video with a full story, including more photos and more data. Um, you can find the link below this um, YouTube video. Thanks for watching.